In this video we will show how to use dictionary and array variables in Macrodroid. A dictionary variable can store multiple entries, where each entry has a key, which is a text string, and a value, which can be any standard variable type. As a simple example, we could store a person's shoe size in a dictionary, using their name as a key, and their shoe size as the value. A dictionary enables related information to be stored together in one place, avoiding the need for many separate variables to store the same amount of information. An array variable is similar to a dictionary, except instead of using a string-based key, an array uses an integer-based index with associated value. As a simple example, we could store the position people came within a race, using the position as an index and the person's name as the value. An array has the same advantages as a dictionary and can replace multiple individual variables that would otherwise be needed. In this example we will create a macro to track how many calls we get each day and store each day's value within a dictionary. First, we create a global dictionary variable to store the values. Next, we create a new macro with a call incoming trigger. We will trigger on any call regardless of who it's from. Then we add a set variable action and select our dictionary global variable. We select to add a new key to the dictionary. Using magic text constructs, we can create a unique key based on the current date. This will be an integer to store the call count value. We select the option to increment the value, so each call will add one to the count for that day's entry. When we test the trigger three times, we should see our global variable have an entry for today's date with a count of three.